Hey, good day everyone. So today we're at Jerry Lawrence Provincial Park. It's a little bit of a windy day, but it's a beautiful September day. So we're out enjoying it as much as we can. The wind, however, will affect our ability to get some drone footage. So I hope you like what we're able to discover here in the park. It's one that I've been to once before. It was quite a few years ago, so I'm not really sure what exactly this park offers, but it's Akane's first time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we know it's on some lakes. We know there's a couple little trails through the woods, and that's what we're gonna explore today. Jerry Lawrence, or as some call it, Lewis Lake, are one and the same provincial park about a 20 minute drive from the city of Halifax. The area is a popular place to bring the family to fish and enjoy some lakeside lounging. With ample places to park, there will be lots of room for you and your crew. After exploring the park, we quickly realized this wasn't a park dedicated to hiking. There is a lone trail that runs along the lake, but most people who come here are here to fish. A beautiful dock runs deep into the lake. A family was already here, enjoying this time with nature. In the distance, a broken rainbow appeared, reminding us of the showers that have come and gone all day. Benches line the boardwalk. It's clear this is a place for relaxing and taking in the scenery. I have to admit, Akane and I are guilty of choosing parks that offer a great selection of trails and not those meant for lounging. To this effect, we forced ourselves to stop and take things in a little bit longer, something that is very much a good thing. So today was supposed to be really good weather, but look, it starts raining. So we gonna head back to the car or what are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Walk uh, around a little bit more or you wanna... But nope. you have a camera, so we Let's don't pop get... back to the car. It's okay. only supposed to rain for about half an hour. Okay, sure. And then we'll uh, let it pass mm -hmm. and continue on our adventure. We're glad we looked at the weather radar. Without keeping this in mind, we would have been stuck walking in the rain rather than waiting it out inside the comfort of our vehicle. So we are, we are in the car about 30 minutes, 20 minutes, until rain stops. So now it's... Looks good here, and let's see, let's explore another hike. As we headed out, we thought about how nice of a place this would have been for kayaking. The park is situated on two lakes. The lake we saw at the very beginning of the video was Round Lake, and this one, Lewis Lake. Lewis Lake is significantly larger, being about twice the size. No matter which lake you choose to spend your time on, however, you'll be treated with a classic Nova Scotia view. And with that, we took some time to enjoy the views and watch the wildlife. Well, the rain has come and gone. It is so nice now. The wind is gone completely. The sun's back out. The lake's so calm and beautiful. Plus it drove away all the people that were here. So as, you know, as much as I like having the company, I'd much prefer exploring nature this way. Back on the trail, we were excited to see where the trail went. As it skirted the water, we thought perhaps it went around the entire lake. We had been to similar hikes that did just this while visiting Grossmoor National Park in Newfoundland. We decided to keep going, but unlike what we thought, we eventually moved away from the lake and came to a very well-maintained trail. So we've come from our main trail here and it seems to connect with something else. This is the rails to trails. So this is an entire network that will run this whole span of the province. Oh. So if you watched some of the videos before, then you know rails to trails was like part of the salt marsh trail. So this is a series of old railroad tracks that have now been converted into somewhat mixed use. So a lot of the time you can hike, bike. Some of them you can use ATVs and some of them you can even take horses. Now I'm not sure what this section is. This is obviously very brand new. I believe that part of this is new altogether to the park. So I wasn't expecting to see this, but it's a nice addition that you can actually butt onto this trail and enjoy this park if you're 
one of the people that is taking the very long route across the province. And indeed, that's what it was. It's here that you can reach the St. Margaret's Bay portion of the Rails to Trails system. With that mystery solved, we headed back to our car. We had enjoyed our time in the park, and we would encourage anyone looking for a great place to fish to hit up this spot. Be sure to obtain your fishing license, however, as you don't want to be heading home with a fine.